And so it brings up the question, when a motor neuron is damaged from just wear and tear, who repairs it? When a motor neuron needs more energy in the form of mitochondria, does it make its own mitochondria or does it require the mitochondria from, to come from somewhere else? Is it making its own antioxidants? So looking at that protocol and not at the moment really talking about that protocol from an efficacy standpoint, instead just looking at the fact that it's targeting not so much motor neurons, but the microglial cells. The next question is the microglial network, what is it really doing? And, and that's something that's been known for a long time. So um, the microglia are largely responsible for repairing motor neurons. And so you wonder at that point, is it motor neuron failure as a primary problem, or is it motor neuron failure secondary to, in that case, another group of cells, the microglial cells, that can no longer 